uplift the lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. If you believe it, stand on your feet and give God praise with us. Come on, lift your voice. Christ. 
excited about um, what we're going to be sharing. Um, I have been a part of this phenomenal group called Sis Talk with my sisters, Lee Erica and Sante, and we have been talking about some real issues. We have been talking about some real things, sharing our stories, and I just want to enlighten you. I want you guys to be a part of what we are doing because it's definitely going to encourage you and it's definitely going to um, help you overcome some situations in your life, even as you share our, our story, as we share our testimony. So that's what we're going to be doing for a, maybe a couple of Saturdays that we're going to be on, just kind of letting you in on our sis talk um, to encourage, to uplift. And to um, give you maybe some advice, some things that you may not have known that God has brought us through, but some tidbits of things that you can do so God can bring you through as well. But before we get started with our phenomenal show on tonight, I will always like to start off with a word of prayer. We always invite the Spirit of God into everything that we do. So, Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for who you are, what you've done, what you are doing. Father, we just thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord. God, we thank you for this hour, this time that we come to share uh, with the body of Christ, that they will be uplifted, that they will be motivated, that they will be healed and delivered and set free, Father God. We ask that whatever we are, that whatever is going to be spoken, whatever is going to be said, God, that it will be something that will impregnate them with victory and purpose. In your son Jesus' name, amen. All right, so what we're actually going to do, we're going to let you guys in on our live discussion. So you may hear us saying, hey, and, you know, talking back to people, but we're actually going to be on live, um, our Facebook Live, but we are going to plug in to um, the Uplifting with Mo show with our live session on tonight, talking about uplifting one another, sharing our stories, and just letting you in on our sis talk. So give me a couple of seconds to plug you in, and we're going to get started with the uplifting with most. together. 
together and talk about it and help each other process it. If I carry my burdens by myself, it's so heavy. That's right. But when I spread it out against with my three sisters, it makes it so much lighter for me. And I'm able to get so much farther if I'm just open and honest and I can have the doggone conversation. Yes. Um and I don't know when it when it became that everything was a secret because I think at one time they talked about it. I don't know if it became that it was a competition. So I don't want to tell you how I got mine and how I overcame. Um, or I feel like you're judging me, so I'm not going to come and tell you. But I just think it's time out for that. You know, I've lived 40 years, and um, I hope to live a whole lot more. And I want to share all of my knowledge with women the same age. There's women older. That could probably learn something from me, a little knowledge. Um, people younger, there's women younger than me that I've learned things from. It's like, oh wow, that's so, you know, that that's so so much wisdom and you know, a thirty year old that I may not have thought about and I'm forty. Correct. So we can all learn and grow with each other and have a conversation. Yes. So that is what this talk is about having a conversation. Yeah, yeah, for it all. Yeah. And um, I'm going to go to you all. And these two women, I met Monique first, I think it was last April. Mm-hmm. Um, and I met Shante in August, I believe it was last year, somewhere around there. I think it was a uh, conference. conference. And these were the two women that I was led to when I said, okay, time for me to walk this thing out, but I knew I couldn't do it on my own. I needed to have some sisters with me to do it. That's right. Um, And I'm like, okay, Lord, I need some people who are going to be dedicated and who understand and grasp the vision because it wasn't, and as they know, behind the scenes, the vision, it's not a normal, regular um Churchy, if I can say that. Um, so I needed women that grasped that concept with me and understood where I was coming from and heard my heart. And I'm like, okay, I'm going out on the limb because this is not what I do. I don't approach people. And I went to them, and they were both willing. They were like, yes, this is, this is great. Um, so I asked you guys what made you come on board and say yes. Awesome, awesome. Well, hey, everybody. Um, hey, Denise. Hey, Jen. Everybody that is listening, uh, we are definitely here with our sister, Lee Erica, Sis Pop. Um, super excited. Um, before I, I get started with, um, sharing why I came on, just kind of want to introduce myself a little bit. Um, my name again is Monique Walker um, from the state town called Ridgeville, South Carolina. I am a single mom of one daughter, teenage daughter. Y'all can eat it in your prayer. It's so strange. But anyway, we're going to leave it up. why I um, came aboard and wanted to be a part of the vision because as I was hearing Erica talk, it wasn't about her. It was actually about how truly empowering women, um, giving them the tools and the necessary things that they need to actually pump up out of their low places, their low bars, um, to really be delivered and set free. And the best thing, especially when we had our sis talk, while <laughs> yeah, behind the scenes sis talk, yeah. they got real. You know, um, <laughs> we were able to pull down our bars and become vulnerable with one another about the things that we have gone through and the things that we're still dealing with. Um, so, so, like I said, one of the main reasons was it wasn't about her, but it really was about empowering women. Uh, that was definitely one thing, giving them the tools and also being around a 
circle of women that I can be myself with. I don't have to put on ears. I don't have to feel that, oh, well, you know, I have to have it all together. And even as we're sitting together with our sis talk, we don't have it all together. And that's a blessing to know that we can come together, empower, share each other's hurt, pain, story, learn from each other, glean from each other, and help our next sister come up. So that was my, my main thing. I love these ladies. So very I'm not And y'all look, look, I got this thing you call this. Um, I'm, I, I love to talk. So we did not even plan this, y'all. And we're coordinating. <laughs> so um, I'm just, I'm just super excited. Hey, Saranda. Hey, you guys, give us some likes, some likes and share. Um, you know, as we're kind of blowing and everything like that. But um, that's the main reason why I join. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm done. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to come in with that. Okay. Yeah, that's your bag. <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Shante Gunning. Um, with this talk, with my sisters, we're so bonding, we're yes. growing, and we're also learning from one another. To tell you a little about myself. Well, I'm from Josh Allen, moved all the way to Dorchester, not too far from Richville. Mm-hmm. So that's where I'm currently staying with my family. We are a family of five and expanding. Yeah. And I'm also a blended family. Um, there's a lot that we talk about, a lot that I have learned from these ladies, and a lot that I can share, which I have never been able to share before. Um, most importantly, I join because I like the fact that we can come together and impact and empower other ladies, whether they're young, they're old, it doesn't matter. We all have our walks, our journey to life, and it's about telling your sister yes. why you're on your mission. Yes. Uh, like yes. whatever God has called you to do. That's but true. in the mix, we all come from different backgrounds. Mm-hmm. So we have to be open to one another, being able to share so we can impact and help. Because sometimes, even... I say this right, but even when you go to church, you don't feel as open to come on where you can talk. Yes. You, you, you feel me? So it's like, Lord, how do I come in here and not be open? But when I sit down with my sister, yes. it's like, I don't want to cry out. Yes. And they don't judge me. Correct. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So that's, that's the kind of love between sisters that sisters have that bond that you want at this. Yes. And it's not for a day, it's not for a year, it is for eternity. Yes. It's like it's forever. It's a lifetime bond that we're building. So it's not it's not a place. Mm-hmm. But we're here to stay. Yes. So yes. we welcome you to the heart of the life. Ask questions. Yes. We yes. ask questions. Ask questions. So we're ready to rock and roll with us. Again, I love you ladies. Thank Thank you. You.
to not want help. It's another thing to want help and not have yes. someone that wants to give it to you. Yes. So I don't want to see people that want the help and don't have others that is offering that assistance to them. I don't I don't want to see that. Right. I think that is that is sad and as the Bible says, you can speak with tongues of angels, but if you have not charity, yep. Um I'm not going to be that person that has not charity. I'm going to have charity, and that that is what my goal and my mission is. Um, and I'm just yeah, I'm just ready and excited. And what I'm supposed to do? And we and we are. Well, I'm, I'm going to ask the first question, ladies. Okay. So, um, and I'm I'm so glad you talked about being in a place where you don't feel like you can open up. So as we are sharing and talking today, what has been one of your major challenges in your life, being a woman and trying to overcome certain areas and certain things in your life? What has been one of your biggest challenges as far as being that woman and trying to overcome certain hurdles in your life? The biggest challenge? Yes. (laughs) Um, um, I would say the heart of the challenges, I think, is honesty. Okay. Is the heart of, I think, the matter. Gotcha. (laughs) Of all of them. Um, honesty and how I arrived in the situation. Um, honesty with self. First yes, and yes, that's good. Um, has been the most challenging, even with getting out of those situations. Mm-hmm. Being honest, being able to go um, even to my my family and say, "This is what's happening. This uh-huh. is what's going on. I need help." It all stems back to honesty and being honest and authentic with Lee Erica. Gotcha. You know, saying I messed up. Exactly. That's it. Um. This is not good. Uh I need to fix this. Because honesty requires action on your Your part. When you're honest. So you can't be honest and stay where you're at. You can't do that. Uh You can't be honest and then sit there. It requires. Your thoughts are going to. It's going to require you to think and take action. And so when you're honest and have um, repentance, Mm-hmm. You are required to change. Yeah, and I think that is the core of the hardest part. Along with marriage, we're going to talk about divorce. It happens. Relationship. Mm-hmm. It is like I was like the poster child for a bad relationship. <laughs> if you wanted to see bad relationships, Monique Walker being was going to it. You're never going to be able to 
never, ever, yeah, ever going to be over a comp. And that's really good because this is all the talk you know, touching on the stuff you can feel. It's like, for me, it's like, you know, with that self-love mm-hmm. and then that self-identity. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know how yeah, sometimes yeah. you want to fit in for a mm-hmm. so you want to be like, and then it's like, even with relationships, if I felt that I was too much, then I had to jump myself. Wow. Yeah. You know, it is yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, with oh, the relationship. Yeah. But then when I realized that, because I was talking to God over my head about it, this, 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 this. but that was yeah. my biggest issue, being real with me. Yeah. So when I'm in a relationship, it was like, okay, he don't like this, or oh, you're too hard on me, or you're too this. Okay, so let me back up and let you get a man. Wow. You know but in reality, I was playing myself, because now yeah. I'm the person looking in the mirror like, okay, I'm not supposed to be this way, so let me try to do it like wow. this.
trying to check them on certain things that they are doing or certain things that they're going through, but it's more of them being critical of them than them helping them. And, you know, that was one of the things that I was telling Lierica that, you know, I was, I knew God had led me to be a part of this group because it's not about their judgment. It's really about helping each other, you know? It's, uh, it's uplifting. So, you know, it's not about, oh, you know, browbeating my sister because uh, she she went out there and she had a sex with somebody. You're not browbeating me, but actually, let's come together. Sis, what's wrong? Well, what's really going on in your life that's uh, making you do this? Not like, you know better than that. And growing up in the church, that's what, that's what we were, like, no, mm-mm. It was it was more of a, a judgment. It was more condemning. It wasn't in love. It wasn't a kind of um, come on, but help pull you up out of this. It was like you know that your mom and your dad they fucked you better than that, you know. So but what what are you really helping to help me get out of this situation? Trying to help me get to the root cause of my problems as well. Reason. Correct. Something. Something is going yeah, on. Yes. Help me. Help me. And, and that's why I love this because even like when we have our behind the scenes just talk, and it was certain things that I shared, it was certain things all of us shared, and it was it was more of a judgment. It was more of like, well, you know, you know better than that. Like, 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 you know, you know I think that, that's why I love thinking about this this morning. This talk. So, you know, we have people like sister talks and all of those stuff, but this talk. So, when I, I was thinking about this talk, that means being able to open up. Not being able, not feeling like I got to hold it back and, you know, reserve my feelings, reserve what I'm going through, but this sis can talk. This is the atmosphere where I can talk, I can share my feelings, I can share my emotions, I can share what I'm going through because I know my sisters are going to be there to help me bear whatever I'm going through or be there to really help me and hear me, you know, and not just judge me. So that's important. Absolutely. That's important. And I don't think that we have enough of that um, camaraderie with women. Yeah. It's more of the, the cattiness. It's more of the, you know, um, I'm up here and you're down there type of mentality. And if you don't act like me or you don't be like me, then, you know, then you got issues. No, 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 no. (laughs) Yeah, shaming, mom shaming, wife shaming, Mm -hmm. blood shaming. Shaming because I'm 40 and single. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could could pull them. Yeah. 
actually came together and we talked and they're like our truth <laughs> you sometimes like with some people it's like you feel that you can try to open up and then you can feel when people's demeanor or people's attitude towards you can yeah. change I did not do that from you guys I thought it was just like more of a love it was more of like unique I know what you've been through and you know I understand and this is gonna be alright right. so it was more of that and um and I'm just going to go right back to creating that atmosphere. Yes. Creating that atmosphere. And, and even here, so when, when, we were, when we were all talking and you were saying that, how can we help other women become vulnerable and be able to share their 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 things and thoughts that they're going through if we're not able to become vulnerable with each other? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. And, um, and, and that, that means a lot. That means a lot. And I just think that with – with the group and the vision that God has given you, it's going to really impact so many other women to come out. I don't know if they come out the closet, but <laughs> we come free. We
There's a shift. Hormone drives are live. Yes. And not saying that there's a mental illness aspect, but a mental health aspect, aspect that, that we have aspect. to take care of ourselves yes. as women. Um, so that is going to be something major that we talk about, um, even from the aspect of, of self-care and taking care of ourselves. Um, that covers, um, like I said, hormonally because mm-hmm. we go through um, postpartum, yes. you know, being pregnant, postpartum depression, and we go through, um, there's not a lot of young girls, you know, in this group, this is really for women, um, but I I think I have uh, a couple older teenagers in this group, so maybe. Um, <laughs> um, even premenopause and menopausal women, we oh, have mental oh, health yes, yes. That, yes. that affects us. Um, even women, when you have to go through having things like hysterectomy, things like that affect our That's mental health right. in different That's ways. Right. Um, but also on the other side of mental health, mental illnesses, mm-hmm. um, we're going to talk about those things as well. Okay. We are going to talk about um, being single and those, everything that that entails. Mm-hmm. Um, Wanted to have sex when you really can't? Oh, I said that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was, I was trying to find a way. I'm sorry. <laughs>
going to talk about sexual harassment. Yes. We are going to, we're, we'll, we'll talk about it now. I don't, never had this struggle, but if anybody wants to talk about it, we can talk about struggling with your sexuality. Yeah, I was, you know what, it's all right. I was just, I was just about to say that. Yeah, we can talk this about that. that. We can yeah. talk about, um, abortion. That is something, that is something I struggled to say we're going to talk about, and I'm going to say why we're going to talk about it. Um, why we're going to talk about the two things that I just said. And the reason that we are going to talk about them is because they're real and they're going on in our society. We are going to talk about them as women because this forum is not about legalism of religion. Yeah. If that makes any sense to anybody, this is about everybody that's going to be in this group is not going to be of the mindset okay. of Christ. It does not follow the force to be a part of this group. You do not have to be a Christ follower. Let me put that out there. So there is a woman who is a part of this group, and she is struggling with thinking about, or maybe she has had an abortion. Mm-hmm. Or she is struggling with her sexuality. Um, <clears throat> I don't want her to feel like she cannot discuss her topic. That's in this right. Group. Correct. I am also of the mindset, as I said before, if you have not charity, mm-hmm. I am of the mindset through love and kindness have I drawn me. Yes. I am of the mindset that. If you have not yet taken Christ as your Savior, you are not going to believe what I believe. Mm, yes. Are you? That's you're not correct. 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 So your views on mm-hmm. a thing. Well, we're going to line up. Correct. Correct. We but will. If you don't believe what I believe, my job is to show you love. That's my job right. is to support you. My job is to talk to you about what my beliefs are, but it's also to support you at this. And Sister talks about inspiring thoughts that is I'm going to converse with you, right? And, you know, promote chili. Yes. And from that, encourage the change. Come on, let's hear Which is yes. yes. Well, we are going to stop right there. Uh, we have some more things to share and talk about during our sis talk. But just kind of wanted to let you guys in on some of the things that we're going to be talking about, um, introducing you to everyone that's in the group. Uh, We're going to be talking about some heavy things. And one thing that I do love about our sis talks, um, like Lierica was saying, it's about um, inspiring thoughts. And it's about affecting change. And it's about having conversations with people and getting to and helping them get over whatever they're going through through the power of love. Um, and we know that love covers a multitude of sins and love and, and love never fails. And a lot of times I think as we as as women and women of God, we miss out on our sisters being free or having being able to witness to our sisters because we miss out on the peace of love. And really sitting down to understand what they're going through and where they, they've been and how we can present Christ to them in such a way that it will invoke the change in their lives. So I just wanted to let you guys in on um, our sis talks. We have fun. Uh, we are, like I said, we're just getting started up, but I think that this is going to be a very impactful and powerful um, thing that we're going to be adding to Uplifting with Mo Show for just a little while as we are beginning to talk about some of those topics. Um, I do know uh, we will begin to, to talk about um, uh, mental illness and counseling, and we're actually going to have a counselor that's going to be um, sitting in on one of our sis talks, and I'm looking forward to sharing that uh, once we are able to get that up and running. But it's, 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 it's not just about us um, going to church it's not just about us getting a quick feeling, but it's about us as people and women being healed, whole, and set free. So that's that's the whole point of why we're doing our sis talk. So I hope you guys definitely enjoyed tonight's broadcast. 
Um, I always have so much fun when I'm with my sisters, and hopefully it was something that was said tonight that will give you hope, give you hope to know that these women have gone through some things, and they're, they're willing to help us come through as well. So before we leave, we always end with prayer. So, Father, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for who you are, what you are doing in the lives of your people, Lord God. I thank you that you are provoking change in the lives of your people, Lord, that we will never be the same, Father God, that you will heal us whole, Father God, that we will be complete in every area of our lives, that we will no longer be ashamed of where we've been or what we've done, but knowing that the love of God, the love of Christ, it covers a multitude of sins. And it will heal us to wholeness. And, God, we give you praise and glory for it. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You guys, this is your girl, Monique Walker. I am the host of the Uplifted with Mo Show. Super excited. I have some exciting news to share with you guys in July. But we're going to hold off on that um, just for a little bit. But God has definitely been moving. And I can't wait to share my exciting news with each and every one of you in July. So you guys have a phenomenal Saturday evening, and I hope you have a super, super Sunday in Jesus' name. You guys have a good night.